Okay, thank you. Thank you. You too. So I just pulled into my dad's driveway. I'm returning the suitcases that I borrowed for our vacation. I used his suitcase, which held my 70 pounds worth of clothes and I had to pay $100 each way to fly it to and back home from California. So that's my regret of the trip is um, doing that to myself. And I didn't even wear all the clothes. So I'm just never overpacking again. So I'm back in Florida back for my trip you guys are not gonna believe what i did so two hours before we were heading to the airport i somehow lost my wallet i think i was pulling my phone or my camera out of my purse and it came out with it i have no idea where it is it's in california that's what i know it's in california it's in los angeles somewhere i've called every uber that i've taken i've called every restaurant the last time I used it was at the matcha place and that's that's it because I didn't use it again until I was trying to pull it out to pay for my luggage to get on the flight home I had to present to the guy at TSA my scuba diving certification ID from 2010 yeah uh, 11 years ago when I had braces. I had to present that to him and um, a Bloomingdale's credit card that that matched that because I do not look like I did in 2010. Do like an intense search of all my stuff, wipe down, pat down, all that stuff to get on my flight. And I still don't know where my wallet is. No one's used any of my cards and I just have this hope that I'm hanging on to that someone found it and sent it to me by mail I don't know I don't know and I don't know how I did that I'm so good about my things like I take pride in how much care I take of my things it could be something that's ten dollars and I just cherish it with my whole life I take really good care of just all my stuff like everything is always in like amazing condition I'm just like kind of like that's my tick is I'm just like overprotective of all my stuff like I don't want anything to fall apart or break or get lost or anything like I'm just like a freak like that that's why my so my travel video if you haven't seen those I'll link them down below but my last travel video ended super abruptly because I was kind of just stressed and um it just was like affecting me I didn't have my wallet and I don't know I mean if you guys have lost your wallet then you understand and you're traveling and you're just calling places freaking out and no place has it so it's on the side of the road or some kind person which I'm hoping some kind person found it and is sending me my stuff but so I got back to work I don't even know why this is turning into like a whole like chit chat thing but I feel like I just haven't talked to you guys in a little while and it's necessary so I got back from um, my trip and Tuesday my co-worker actually quit or like put her notice in a few weeks no I think it was the week that I was leaving for vacation so I was on vacation for two weeks and that was basically her her two-week notice so when I got back from work I was like coming down from a vacation high which I've this trip was the best trip that I've ever taken in my adult life. Um, I don't take 10 day trips. Life is just um, more restricted now because I have a full time job and I only have a certain amount of PTO to use and I don't want to take a vacation without PTO. And I'm very grateful that I do have a job that has allowed me to have this much PTO to be able to take a 10 day vacation but I'm out of PTO for the rest of the year, so no more trips, unless it's a weekend. So she left, and actually she like let me know Monday, and I went on my vacation Wednesday, so I only had like two days left with her. Working with her was such a, like a pleasant experience, and I'm just so sad that she's 
gone so it was me coming back to her being gone and me realizing that she's gone and coming down from a travel high I don't know how to explain it but I just was like so not myself Tuesday because Monday was Labor Day so we came back to work Tuesday and I was just not myself I was so sad um, the one good thing is my best friend Taylor she's been in vlogs before she actually is working full-time with me so she's one of my coworkers now too so I'm I'm very grateful that she now has the opportunity to work full-time with me because she was part-time anyways anyways I am at my dad's house returning the suitcases checking the mail and then I'll probably be going to Trader Joe's to restock get my life together get my fridge pantry stocked and then I think next weekend I'll go to Costco let's get let's get back into our routine that's probably gonna be what the vlog's gonna be called let's get back on our routine but get back into reality and anyways okay I'm gonna go inside and drop off those suitcases <laughs> Christmas bags. I didn't think we were that far along. I was slightly confused. I'm not against it, but full on just Christmas bags. <laughs> so now that I'm seeing it all out on the counter, I really thought that I got more, but here we go. So, pumpkin related stuff. I got this pumpkin pancake and waffle mix never tried pumpkin flavored pancakes or anything so i got that and then some ingredients to make it because you need like milk and butter i got this pumpkin body butter excited to try i also got this candle vanilla pumpkin and my nails are so bad i think i'm gonna get them taken off tomorrow because they're just so grown out from vacation but I got this vanilla pumpkin candle and I was talking to the girls checkout line and they were saying that there's an apple candle coming out soon. So keep checking Trader Joe's because there's gonna be an apple crisp candle and apparently it smells way better than this one. So I'm definitely gonna pick it up next time I'm in there. Hopefully it's there. Buffalo burgers, these are good. We needed more salt. Milk for the waffles. This artichoke and jalapeno dip, so good. Chunky guacamole, this is like the best guacamole ever. Center cut fillets, um, mango chunks, frozen mango. Um, orange chicken, fried rice. These almond butter almonds, which are Christian and I's favorite. Ginger shots, obviously, if you don't know. Hash browns with avocado and egg on top are like my favorite weekend breakfast. Gorgonzola gnocchi, sweet potato gnocchi. I needed butter for the pancake mix. I got this Syrah cheese. It's really good on with just crackers, but I'm gonna make it in a grilled cheese and I think I'm gonna do that right now after I do this haul. I'll tell you the background story on why I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Avocado spray, we needed more. Um, these barbecue chip things, Christian likes them, so I got those. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm gonna make banana bread, because I have some ripe bananas over there. I'm gonna make some, so I just decided to get them from Trader Joe's because everything from Trader Joe's is so cheap compared to like other grocery stores, so I decided to pick them up there. I got these everything but the elote chips. These are so good with the guacamole. These chips are also really good with chipotle bowls. So good. So I got two for Taylor because she doesn't live near Trader Joe's and then one for me because I go more often. Sourdough bread, I love Trader Joe's sourdough bread. These pita bite crackers. Christian also really likes these chips so I got him those as well. And then my cute little pumpkin. So that's the Trader Joe's haul. It's not as big, I feel like, as my usual hauls, but Trader Joe's was so packed that I could barely breathe in there. So I was just trying to get in and out. Okay. Can I put this stuff away? 
try and organize it as best as I can. So the story behind why I want to try that grilled cheese sandwich creation thing is because at my job we have like a shift shopper and since I work in a shared office space we have a cafe we provide a bunch of different foods drinks whatever so we have someone who regularly shops for us at Costco and I've known her since I started working there and she's been shopping for the company before I started working there which was two and a half years ago I've been working with the company for two and a half years and her name is Crystal and just like obviously over the years we've gotten to know each other and she bought us that cheese, she actually got us the Merlot cheese, which is kind of similar to the Syrah cheese, but all Trader Joe's has is the Syrah cheese, and I'm sure it tastes just as good. So basically one day I was raving to her about this cheese and she was raving back because we're both like equally obsessed with it. And she was saying eating it on a grilled cheese is like a game changer. So I'm gonna try making it into a grilled cheese because she said it was so good on a grilled cheese, which I would never think to put this on a grilled cheese. Like I just do cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna try it on a grilled cheese with sourdough bread. I don't know if I should do like some of the purple part, like both parts, or if I should just cut it in slices. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay. It's done. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's so delicious. Wow. It's so good I should have made two. <laughs> in this jar to a fall scented one this is endless weekend it's endless weekend from um bath and body works but endless weekend kind of just smells like summertime so i'm gonna switch it to the bath and body works leaves one which smells like fall I just changed into like a sweatshirt. It's already falling apart after me washing it once. Came off on one side, a little plastic thing. That's fine, whatever. This is actually the last thing that I bought before I lost my wallet from Cha Cha Matcha. But it's this cute green color and then it has this on the back. And I got it from that store after I, or that matcha shop right after I, are you crooked? I don't know, are you crooked? I don't know. But this is the last thing that I bought before I lost my wallet because this is the last purchase which was basically two hours before we went to the airport where I pulled out my wallet and charged it on my card. 
So this is the last thing that I bought with when I had my wallet in California. But I got this because I really liked the green color. And it was from a place in California and you can't get it everywhere. And I'm just such a sweatshirt person and crew neck person from and buying them at places that I've like gone to and been at. I told Christian that whenever he travels without me, he has to bring me home a crew neck from the place he traveled to. Traveled, I think like once without me since we started dating and he brought me back a Colorado crew neck. So I just changed into a sweatshirt. I'm still wearing biker shorts, but um, I'm going to Taylor's house with Maya and we're just gonna hang out for the night. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm gonna ask her if she's eaten so maybe we can get something together and then i can bring her her chips i got her from trader joe's i just deep cleaned the apartment as you saw getting my whole entire life together basically okay i just got in my car to go to taylor's and i'm just gonna bring i'm just gonna bring a costco frozen pizza because that's what i have in my freezer and i don't want to go i don't need to spend any money so I'm gonna do that. And then I screenshotted the instructions for the pizza on my phone. Or I took a picture of the instructions off the box and I have it on my phone and I'm gonna cook it at Taylor's house. And Maya's there, I don't know if I mentioned that. And I need to put on chips. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the new Drake album and continue driving to Taylor's. on in the background if you can hear but I just went to Whole Foods and got this milk I've been drinking this milk for a little while now I just haven't picked it up in a few weeks but it's one of my favorites and the one thing that I like about this milk is that it's good hot and cold I feel like this milk that I have been drinking for a little while the milked walnuts milk by Elmhurst I feel like this is only good cold I feel like it's not that good hot when I hot froth it. And I also got my nails taken off. I need to file them down, but it's so weird not having nails on. I also got this Greenade juice and I kinda wanna try this Nut Pods flavor. This was at Whole Foods and they don't sell it at Publix. They only sell the original French vanilla, hazelnut, and then the oat milk creamer. They don't sell the cinnamon swirl, so I kind of wanted to try it. Figured it'd be good. I'm gonna restock my coffee container, and I think this is the last time that I can restock it before I need to go get more pods. I'm gonna make banana bread too. That's what I got from Whole Foods, just a few things. And then I went to Publix and got some stuff for like lunches and dinners and stuff for the week. And then Spindrift was buy one, get one free. So that was a highlight. my 
Espresso pod jar. I have a few pods left from my last um, restock of them. These are my last five boxes, and then I'm gonna need to go to the Nespresso store. So that's coming soon. I know a lot of you guys like my Nespresso restock videos, so keep a lookout because in the next month or so, I'll be doing a big restock for the next few months after that. I'm gonna be doing Bianco Forte. I'm gonna be doing Bianco Ligero. Two of those. So, okay, so Bianco Forte is a cup of coffee. Bianco Leggero, which is my favorite Nespresso pod, is a double shot of espresso. And then I'm going to be doing Altiso, which is a single shot of espresso, which is one of my favorite single shots. Another Bianco Leggero. And then a double shot of espresso, which is the double espresso Chiro. Looks like this. I also like to ask, what are your guys' favorite Nespresso pods? Comment them down below. And maybe if I haven't tried them, I'll pick them up on my next restock. Full to the brim. Okay, I just got into bed. I'm usually not into shows, but I wanted to share this show. I usually just watch YouTube videos. It's kind of hard for me to get into shows. It is called Nine Perfect Strangers. It's so good. It's on Hulu. It's about these nine people go to like a retreat, like a wellness retreat. It gets like super interesting and they're all there for a reason hence nine perfect strangers i'm only in the middle of episode three but it's kind of like weird and creepy and interesting so definitely check it out on hulu it's so good and if you've watched it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below because i think this show is so good Anyways, it is getting late, so I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.